Hi, it's Thibaut Schwartz. I'm doing a little video to present you the Grasper code I'm using in the automated fandom uh, project. So this was a pavilion project done at the Ensa Paris Malaké last semester. And it was my first robotized uh, project. So basically, um, it starts uh, quite easily. I can uh, choose between using um, an un already generated surface or generate a new one for this uh, pavilion. I ju the topic was not really the geometry, but more the, pro the process, construction process. So I used a very simple geometry uh, from a basic mesh relaxation using Kangaroo. So uh, let's generate new one. Okay, so what I need is a pavilion which is about 2.7 meter high. So it has to stabilize, and then I will stop it. Okay. Okay, perfect. So uh, this was the first step, and now um, I use a method to to re rebuild this surface in NURBS, then subdivide it, uh, and I have different options here to do it, but uh, mainly what has to be understood is that um, as the surface is approximated by ruled surfaces, portion of ruled surfaces, sur surfaces here, um, I need to set the number of subdivisions by arches here so here i have 30 and i uh, can also set the thickness of the shell here i can uh, choose if i want to orient these rulings from the front or from the side and it will not be the same uh, rendering in terms of visuals here uh, if we take a look okay as you can see it's not doing exactly the same thing just a matter of orientation so uh, now what i want is to compute for each part here ah first sorry first i have here a log which is telling me that I have a pavilion which is based on uh, 204 blocks um, and in these blocks I have 200 that are regular six faces blocks and in these six in the the rest is just four blocks with seven faces and it's these components um, Okay, so now let's take a look at the bonding box uh, generation because it's a very important point. Uh, as you can imagine, all the fabrication is based on the on a good bonding box. It uh, it allows to um, use less material and have coherent toolpaths. So here, for example, I use uh, multiple tests. Here are 20 tests by, by parts, and uh, the bonding bon box can rotate from 0 to 85 degrees around the part to find the minimal position here. And I can also use the Galapagos to find uh, the maximum for the minimum rotation here needed uh, to get the same number of panels used for the nesting, but here yeah, it's useless for the demonstration so after this uh, bonding box generation I can nest this bonding box and the parts in a standard foam panels you can buy anywhere okay so this nesting has several options uh, for example I can use 
I can tell uh, my nesting program because I I did a custom nesting component here, which is working with data trees, and you can tell it. Uh, I want to to nest only several branches, and the branches are some. For example, the the width of the bonding box or the arches. You can sort the the parts by different ways, and you can also flip the order of the arches, etc. So here we will use default values here and yeah I can also shuffle the parts to try to find a better solution so here nothing is shuffled because everything is sorted by X domains uh, for the bonding boxes so it's already quite optimum but if we take a look at uh, shuffled uh, version yeah maybe we Maybe it's it can be best or or not, but uh, um, most of the time it's similar, so I'm not using it finally. Okay, here I have dimensions of the panels. I can buy the margins between the components. As you can see, I have margins everywhere because I will precut it manually. So, the more margins I have, um, the more I will be sure to get the proper geometry. Um, because I'm not quite precise manually. At, uh, in any case, I'm uh, I can do precise cuts like the robot. Uh, so after that, I can choose between uh, using one dimension, one thickness of panels here so here it's 80 millimeter panels or I can also choose two dimensions try to optimize the number of panels I use for each dimensions and uh, it will do two nesting and then it's telling me that I will need five panels of 80 millimeter two panels of 60 millimeters it's co it will cost me approximately this money and let's take a look if I use only one dimension because we are here you are we are losing less material so yeah it's cheaper as you can see this is the solution I used finally I can also use different orientation of the panels for the nesting because sometimes it's best here I am uh, yeah, every uh, all the panels are filled, but I prefer to have some loss on the last panel because this way I will be able to reuse this material and redo some parts I will uh, I will miss. Okay, so this was the presentation of the generation morphogenesis and nesting optimization of the geometry. Now I will do a second video on the toolpath generation.